thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make a Chicago style hot dog. Now I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, so I grew up on this type of hot dog. And if you've never had one, man, you need to try one because in my opinion it's the best way to eat a hot dog. And uh, very specific ingredients, okay, I'm going to show you kind of the authentic way. Now there are a lot of hot dog stands in Chicago. They said uh, there are more hot dog stands in Chicago than McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King combined. That's how popular hot dogs are in Chicago, and there's so many little mom and pop places, and they all have variations, okay? But the authentic one includes Vienna beef products, which I have right here. Uh, but then, there, like I said, there's independent places. They might make their own dogs, or they might vary a little bit on the ingredients. Uh, I just did a video review when my, uh, my family and I were down uh, in Chicago visiting my dad. I'll leave a uh, link below to Super Dog. And their variation is they have a pickled tomato instead of fresh tomato slices. So you'll, you'll get some variations. Anyway, I'm getting long-winded. I really love this recipe. I'd love it if you'd stick around and I'll show you how to make it step by step. Let's get cooking. Alright guys, the first thing I want to go over are the specific ingredients uh, for the authentic Chicago style hot dog. Now the first thing is the hot dog itself. And Vienna beef is the main hot dog in all of Chicago, most of the hot dog stands, okay? There are some uh, other brands and there's some other, you know, uh, places that make their own dogs, but you know, Vienna beef is the, the staple in Chicago, okay? And there's an, also a specific way to put these hot dogs together. And if you don't believe me, on these Vienna beef uh, bottles, I actually show you here the specific steps that you need to do to assemble a uh, Chicago-style hot dog. So that's how kind of hardcore they are about this in Chicago. But anyway, let me go over the ingredients. First, you need regular old yellow mustard, okay? Then you need some Chicago style relish. Now this is the bright neon green relish. Uh, I don't think you can get it anywhere else. I think maybe Vienna is one of the only places that makes it, okay? Of course, then your Vienna beef hot dogs. We got uh, kosher dill uh, pickle spears. We have some sport peppers. We have some fresh tomato, some chopped onion. And of course, you need to have a black poppy seed bun. That's also very important. And then after you assemble everything, we're gonna sprinkle it with a little celery salt. And they call this dragging it through the garden because you got all this wide variety of different things on it and it really gives that hot dog a specific taste. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook the hot dogs. Now in Chicago, they either cook them in water, they steam them, or they grill them. If you grill them, they call it a char dog. Well, I'm going to uh, try to keep it a little bit more authentic. I'm going to go ahead and cook them in water, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take a shallow pan, heat up some water. I got it on a light simmer. Now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the heat off. And I'm going to give it a few minutes for that simmer. You don't want to boil these. You just want them to hang out in some nice water, and kind of that's where you're going to get the most flavor. So... I'm going to wait until this stops bubbling and then I'll put in the hot dogs. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so it's literally been around 40 seconds. I'm just going to place these hot dogs in here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll let them kind of just simmer and hang out in this hot water for a few minutes. Be back shortly. Alright guys, it's been a couple minutes, but Another reason why I like to cook this way is because it's going to help me steam the bun. You're supposed to have a steamed bun. So I got this like a pizza screen here I'm going to put on top. And then I'm just going to put some of these poppy seed buns on top. Like so. And then I'm going to take my cover here for my Blackstone griddle. I'm just going to put that on top. I'm going to let this hang out, let those hot dogs kind of, uh, hot dog buns absorb some steam. Be back in a minute. Hi 
it's been around four or five minutes. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, there's some steam coming up as you can see. Yeah, these are these are nice. All right, we'll get the buns off and I'll show you how to assemble these hot dogs. All right, guys, so get your steamed uh, hot dog buns and put your hot dogs in there. And like I said, this is the specific order. So just regular old yellow mustard we're going to put on here. That's the first ingredient. And you know, who doesn't like mustard? Okay, so we put on some mustard. Next, we're going to put on this Chicago style relish. And I got all these ingredients from Vienna Beef. I'll leave a link below. You can order this stuff. They have a hot dog kit that includes the hot dogs and all the ingredients here. Or if you're lucky like me, you might be able to find these ingredients at your local market. I was able to find it at a market called uh, Woodman's. So there you go. So we're going to put on the neon green relish. Okay, after you got the relish we're gonna put on some fresh chopped onion okay sprinkle that on top as much or as little as you like and you know what these hot dogs are a little messy because you know you got a lot of ingredients on there but that's okay sometimes some of the best foods you eat are a little messy <laughs> okay now you're gonna take a couple tomato wedges and you kinda open up one side here and you're going to put two tomato wedges. So we're going to put one there. I'm going to put a second one here. Now Kyle doesn't like tomatoes on his. I'm going to set it up like this here just to show you guys how they look when they're proper. So you want to put the tomatoes on one side of the dog like so. Okay. And now you're going to put your pickle <laughs> on the other side. And like I said, you can already see these dogs are loaded with some uh, stuff. That's why they call it Drag It Through the Garden. I guess it originally during the Depression in Chicago, there'd be all these little hot dog stands on Maxwell Street, you know, selling these type of dogs for a nickel. And uh, someone came up with the idea it was more value to have a dog with all these other ingredients on it because it was like you were getting a salad in addition to your hot dog. Okay, now we got these sport peppers, also from uh, Vienna Beef. Like so. And then one of the most crucial things you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle the hot dogs with celery salt. Now I don't know why this makes all these flavors kind of come together but it just does, trust me, okay? And it's really not an official Chicago dog unless you do that. So look at that, guys. Here we are. Three Chicago-style hot dogs. I'm gonna call my son up, Kyle. We're gonna try these on camera. We'll be back in a second. All right, welcome back. I'm here with my son, Kyle. I took off the tomatoes and sport peppers because he doesn't like them. And one yeah. thing my wife reminded me while I was getting him up here and I paused the camera, and I need to mention this, in Chicago, all these flavors blend together perfectly. Whatever you do, do not put on ketchup. I, I, <laughs> I mean, that's a thing in Chicago. And I saw one guy that owned a Chicago hot dog stand, and he said, I'll make two exceptions. If it's someone 10 years or younger, and they want ketchup, we'll give it to them, or if it's a pregnant woman, because he didn't want to get in a fight with a pregnant woman. But other than that, most of the places uh, will just give you a packets and say, yeah, go put the ketchup on. We're not going to put it on for, on you when you order it, okay? We'll, we'll, they'll we'll, put it on you. I mean, on the hot dog. They won't put it on. They'll give you the packet. you got to do it yourself. So they're very serious about that. I remember, I remember Daddy O's used to go uh, all the time before we went to Chicago. He used to always say, um, which there's a video on that too. Uh, go check it out if you want. But he he said, uh, uh, "Oh, you don't never put ketchup on a Chicago dog." And he, he used to always say that. And I thought that he was kind of exaggerating. <laughs> and then until we go to Chicago, and ever it's it's on signs. Yeah, it's, on it's all over the place. I'm like, yeah. what? And and I guess you just have to learn to um, love the flavors of all these ingredients on these hot dogs. Ketchup would just be 
over sweet and overbearing and all the ingredients. Everything in this dog works perfectly. Trust me. So, <clears throat> and like I said, I'll leave a link below to the Vienna Beef uh, Company. You can order the whole pack. Okay, you ready? Let's just eat over the cutting board. Like I said, these can get a little messy. No kidding. All right. I got a couple napkins there, Colin, in case you need them. All right, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> All right, here it goes. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Telling you the flavor. Woo! The little spiciness from the hot peppers. Kind of the crispy, almost sour from the pickle. That relish, the mustard. I mean, everything blends together just perfect. And then, of course, the Vienna beef hot dog. I mean, I'm so glad I could buy these here in Wisconsin. Mmm. What do you think, Kyle? Any, any uh, final thoughts on the Chicago hot dog? <laughs> we used to go to Portillo's in California. We were lucky enough they had one around a 25-minute drive from our house. And we went many times. Then we went down to Superdog. We went to Chicago. I'll leave a link below if you want to go see the Superdog uh, video. But next time we go to Chicago, I told Kyle, there's so many great hot dog places. So we're going to go check out. I think you want to go to Wiener Circle and get insulted. <laughs> This is a place called Wiener Circle where part of the fun is if you go there late night, the people there just harass you and yell at you and call you stupid and all these different things. But I guess that's part of the fun. You're just mowing the dog down, not even talking or anything. Oh, we're good. Mm. Um, they had a, they had a, I don't care, Portillo's, a, a Chicago hot dog stand, whatever. They sell Chicago dogs down the street. I don't know if we'd have a house. Yeah. I agree. I love these things. We'd have plenty of hot dogs. <laughs> As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, hit the like button. The little logo, like on my shirt, in the bottom corner, if you click on that, you can subscribe to my channel. Please do that. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll leave a link above here in the card at the end and down below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com, where I have all my videos. Uh, and all my recipes and photos of the whole process. So make sure to go check out my website. Thanks again, guys. I think we're going to be busy now eating the rest of these Chicago dogs. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.